Welcome back everybody, playing GTA Vice City again. Let's just turn the radio off so we don't get copyright claimed. Yeah, it is so hot here today, I am a sweaty Betty. But, I recorded part two earlier on. And I thought, that was such, such a short one. I just want to have another go. So, we're going to come here and we're going to continue... Well, we've done the Avery missions now. He's gone away for a little while. And now we're doing the Colonel Cortez missions. So, apologies if there is music in this cutscene. I might cut it out if there is. But here we go. Mr. Ver <laughs> Gonna go and chainsaw a guy in half, I guess. Go and kill Gonzalez with that thing in my hands. Can I not just use a gun? It'll be quicker and easier. I'm guessing this guy doesn't want photos either. Okay, so there wasn't any music in that cutscene. So I don't think I'm gonna have to cut that one out. We'll see what happens, because there was something going on in the background. It's such a shame about that because Vice City really is known for for the radio. And if I was playing this offline where I wasn't uploading to YouTube or if there wasn't such thing as a copyright claim, I would just listen to V-Rock all the time. Because it's got Love Fist on there. And that's really my sort of music, 80s hair metal. Guns and Roses and stuff like that, but the Love Fist thing, I didn't know it when I was playing it for the first time that they actually made that band for this game. I thought that was pretty cool. Are we here? We're here. Right. Chainsaw. Here we go. If he dies, I take over. I'm going to shut that big mouth of yours. Man. Uh, he's got a blade. Stop running, you fat slime ball! Okay. Where is he? I can't fucking see. What's he doing? Stand still and I'll make fucking it idiot! Work. He's right there. Get him! Ah! Where is he? Can I not just use a fucking gun? But you're squealing. No one cares. Oh, that was quick, wasn't it? The police are on to me. Mind your beeswax. Get to the pain spray. Right. Right you are. I'll do that now. Whoa! Sorry about that. Alright, we're here. Yes. A hundred pounds. This time it's free. A hundred dollars. I keep saying pounds when I know it's dollars. Oh. Them two stars are still flashing. Alright, well. That was really quick and really easy. I guess we're not really progressing too fast, are we? Because we're still on the introduction missions. Nothing big has happened yet. Similar to how GTA 3 was, it gives you like 10 to 15 missions, then something big happens and it's a big mission and it's hard. And then they give you another 10 to 15 missions where they're relatively easy. Fucking police are everywhere. Where it's relatively easy, then you give you another big one, where it's quite hard. But I honestly thought the GTA 3 story was a lot longer than what I remember it. I remember it being a lot longer than it actually was. Don't... yeah, we can't get across there at the minute, look. I wonder if we found a helicopter, could we get across there? I'm thinking about it as well. I, I can't remember actually if 
GTA 5 had any restrictions on areas like that, or if it was just open world right from the beginning. Oh, what's that car? Looks nice. I might have that. Let's go and see him. Mall shootout. I'm not quite sure just yet, but I may have to cut that audio out of that cutscene. We'll see what I can do with it. I'd rather not have to cut this stuff out. But we're getting no closer to finding that money. If you need any weapons, visit ammunition. Yeah. Where are we going? Flip on the radar, it's telling me to go up, so... How would you go up? Unless you got to go in and up. In and up. Yeah, let's try that. Right, let's get my Uzi going. Up the escalator. Is it working? It's working. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, let's just go. What do you want me to do? Kill him. Don't make me angry. Familiar here. Let's just have a look at the brief quick, because I'll... Meet a courier who has obtained... Oh, okay, so... I need to meet this guy. Here he is. The rain. She is very wet this time of the year. What? Ah, uh, come on. Look, Cortez sent me. Just give me the damn chips. Oh! D'accord. Please appear on this American pig. That is propriété of a gouvernement français. Hand it over. You American idiot. They followed you here. American idiot. All right. Come here, you. Where is he? Got it. Let's go. Oh. What's going on? Have I got a flat tire? Fucking hell, I've got a flat tire. Let's just nab this car. Quick, quick! Uh, come on, off we go. Yeah, off we go. Here we go then. Only two stars again. I've not seen if in this one yet if when you complete the mission it removes the wanted level for you as if to say missions complete no longer a crime wonder if it's like that we'll soon find out who's that we've done it though here we go can I just park here no I can't just fucking park there I have to walk in. Yeah, mission passed. No longer a crime. And I'm going to have that car there, I think. No, I'm not. I'm going to go and see Cortez again. Hello, mate. I'm back. I'm here. Tomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, 
Then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh? Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. I love that blue car to do this. Colonel's arranged some fire power for you at the multi-story car park. Righto. Let's go and get that then. Okay, now. I recently saw the... Um, GTA 5 has recently sold, I think it was from May or something like that. GTA 5 has now sold 130 million copies of it. Alright, what's this? Is that Lance? Hogging all the action I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Go with Lance to the drop-off and watch over Diaz. Right out. Come on then, Lance. Was it behind me? Ah, oh, yeah, it's behind me. Yeah, 130 million copies or something stupid like that. Fuck you. Fuck off. It's just insane. There's no wonder they're not bringing out a new GTA soon. I mean, the amount of money they must be making from GTA Online. It must be absolutely insane how much money they're making. Sorry. What's this then? Yeah. Are we going to kill that midget? You must be Coltese's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. They'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay. I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. Righto. Right, where's that gun? Here it is. Okay. Here come the Cubans. Watch over the deal. I can't see. Every time with you, Ming. L3 to duck, yep. Yeah. Cool, I can shoot while I'm ducked. I can't move though. Oh jeez. What are we looking at? Fucking hell, I'm doing shit here. Anyone else? Fucking hell, this is hard to control. Right, Uzi. I'm getting down there. I can't see a thing. This guy's coming back. Where is he? Oh, he's gone up. Oh. oh, here we go, look. Right, we're chasing that guy. Don't just stand there, you pricks. Chase that dickhead down. Will do. Has to be me doing it, doesn't it? Did it. Got the money. Maybe there was a better way for me to 
aim there, but I don't know how to fucking do it. Whoa! Nearly killed myself. Nearly killed everybody. I live! Take head, and it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Cool, bro. Give me some money. Shit. Where's that guy, Lance? He's fucked off. I don't know if anybody else noticed. In the beginning, when, when you just, in the cutscene where you're exchanging money for, exchanging money for the drugs and it gets um, busted and stuff like that. I don't know if anyone noticed who was driving the helicopter or flying the helicopter. It was Lance. Good old Lance. Don't know if you saw that, but um, yeah, cool beans. That was pretty fun. I might do another one today as well. I think. Oh, we've got a phone call now. Hang on. Tommy, it's Ricardo Diaz. I want to thank you for looking out for me, my man. I asked that prick on set. He said you're the real deal, my friend. Will you not come see me? I need a guy like you. All I have now is thick head. Everywhere, yo. I make you real rich. Oh, make me rich, bro. Then I can probably pay that guy back. Where did you get you that bag? Yeah, I think I might leave that one there. Thanks for joining me again. It's only a short one today. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't, a dislike. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo.